Welcome to part four of white, rose, and peacock feathers. So we have an octagon shaped um, cradle wood panel that we're going to paint today. We've had um, made it, got it prepared to paint, got the cup ready and layered with paint, and now we're going to paint. Okay, we're gonna start by putting some orange paint made from red and yellow um, Artist Lofts paint. And we're just going to put this on so that the paint is uh, going to fill in the pores of the wood um, so that we can pour over it and not so much will be absorbed into um, the wood. It's as though we're using gesso. However, we're using a nice bright orange so that there will be no um, difficulties in coating the paint. This is not a, 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 a transparent paint, it's an opaque paint. We were lucky to not have hair before that. All right. Check the sides really quick. Everybody's happy. Now this just goes in a container of water so that I don't have to worry about my paint drying on the brush while I'm working on the pour. Okay, and we're going to put a, um, a puddle of white in the center this canvas, um, wooden canvas. I'm gonna spin it. And where's my little solid knife? I'm gonna spread it out a little bit, help it out with the palette knife. I'll get too thin. I think I've shared before, if you've watched my other videos, this is a very old palette knife, so it's slightly bent and that's not much you can do about spring steel. Okay, so I'm going to do this right-handed because that's very difficult otherwise, so I hope that you're able to see it. And to begin with, it's a straight pour with some ripple. Or coming out. Let's see what would happen with this. Okay. So now I'm going to add some orange that was part of the pour. Um, I'm going to add some Floetrol and water, 10 to 1 uh, water, 10 parts water to 1 part Floetrol uh, to make the orange slightly thinner than the actual pour so that we can uh, assist the pour to move across 
the wood um, easier with less resistance and also to not have the pour roll over itself and we'll lose some of the composition. So here we go, adding some of the orange paint. spot. We kind of have an oval situation with our pour. I can't believe that I don't see any of the orange in the pour. We'll have to see what comes out. Feel of wood is just amazing. So I think I'm gonna torch some of these bubbles first. Since I added that water, I also whipped in some air and then the paint has been made for some time. So this, this should be okay. All right, just enough to get it. The bubbles popped in it warm. Uh, we'll see. Okay, one more spin, and then we're done. So beautiful. The sides just all are able to demonstrate the flow of the colors on the top. Purple. This beautiful green that was made from the different blues and golds. of cell development, more layered boulder effect right on the edge. Oh, I hope that dries like that. It's just gorgeous.
All right, peacock rose. See you later. If you like it, subscribe. We